Hi everyone, I'm Gretchen Carlson. Coming up on The Real Story today, if you were in charge of the speech writing at the White House, what would you tell the president to say to the American people for all of us to feel safer about the growing threat of ISIS? Our military panel will give you their most important thing. Plus, why do victims of domestic violence stay with their abusers? Today we offer understanding and help. And guess what? I'm going to kick off my heels and I'm going to put on a baseball glove to shag some fly balls with the guy who's caught more foul balls at baseball games than anyone else. Don't miss it. All top of the hour. Guys, Fox News alert because President Obama is putting the final touches on a rare primetime address that he's going to give to the American people tonight. He's going to finally lay out his strategy against ISIS, and that plan reportedly includes going after the terrorists in Syria. Hi, everyone. I'm Gretchen Carlson. We're here to give you the real story today. As the president, in an interview with the New York Times, talked about these Syrian rebels, these doctors, these pharmacists, right. these dentists, and he said, you know what? We're not comfortable arming them or helping them. And now it appears it's going to be an about face tonight. Well, and even trying to increase and protect the homeland. All right, I'm going to get to your points in just a minute about what you want to hear. <laughs> Lieutenant Cowell, uh, Cowan, what do you make of the fact of what? Thanks much. So coming up on The Real Story, a big whoops. After an accidental phone call, the new bomb. All right, Arthur. I mean, you've represented Lawrence Taylor and others. So I don't know if you'd want to represent Ray Race or not, but what do you make of this back and forth between Roger Goodell and TMZ's Harvey Levin? And that I think that is precisely why the NFL didn't do much of an investigation because look, the process. Well, and, and, and I mean, doesn't, on, it, doesn't that really tell you what happened in the elevator? Right. Well, keep my understanding is. I've done a lot of work on domestic violence, and in some states they will prosecute even without the witness. Yes, yeah. no, they because, can, but she still the way, has to be somewhat. Cooperative. All right. Well, coming up on the show, we are going to help people about domestic violence and try to provide some solutions as well and not just talk about what has happened. Arthur and Jana, thank you. Thank you. So we've been telling you social media, one of the ways ISIS has become so successful in recruiting Westerners, right, including Americans. Lisa, thank you so much for coming in because what we want to do today is not just talk about this, but help people and explain some of the myths and misunderstandings that surround domestic violence. Think of Ray Rice's comments that he says, I have to be strong for my wife. Well, I think it's very common for abusers. I believe it was the first time, which is no. one of my questions. Why? Because I think when you look at that video, the idea that a guy... So quickly, how do we help people? So first... Science fiction could soon become science fact.